grocery stores in America have undergone a fascinating transformation, evolving from small family-run markets into sprawling nationwide super chains. These stores were once the heart of every community where neighbors gathered to shop for their daily necessities and catch up on local news. I can still vividly recall the allure of those bright fluorescent lights illuminating aisles filled with colorful displays of fresh produce and neatly stacked shelves of goods. The sight of mist drifting off the freezer cases added a touch of mystique to the shopping experience, evoking a sense of freshness and abundance. Yet, despite the charm of these neighborhood stores, the grocery industry has always been fiercely competitive. A true doggy dog world. Over the decades, countless companies have merged, acquired, or been swallowed up by larger conglomerates in a quest for market dominance. The landscape of grocery chains has constantly shifted, with some regional favorites expanding into nationwide giants, while others faded into obscurity. Reflecting on the bygone era of grocery shopping, it's remarkable to consider the multitude of chains that once dotted the American landscape. Each region had its own beloved brands cherished by locals for their unique offerings and familiar atmosphere. It's a testament to the diversity of American culture that different states could have such distinct grocery store experiences. As I think back on my own memories of grocery shopping, I'm reminded of the stores where I accompanied my mom as a child or where I worked as a teenager bagging groceries. These establishments were more than just places to buy food. They were hubs of community life where friendships were forged and memories were made. While many of these stores have vanished into the annals of history, their names still evoke nostalgia for a simpler time. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to stroll through the aisles of these long gone supermarkets surrounded by the sights, sounds, and smells of yesteryear. Number one, Atlantic and Pacific Tea. The Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, commonly known as A&P, holds a special place in the memories of many. For decades, it was more than just a grocery store. It was a cornerstone of communities, a household name synonymous with quality and convenience. Its initials, A&P, echoed in the minds of shoppers across the nation, much like Kleenex for tissue. Reflecting on its long history, it's astounding to think that A&P, after 156 years in the business, ceased to exist just last year. Its closure marked the end of an era, leaving behind a legacy that transcends mere commerce. A&P was not just a place to buy groceries. It was a cultural institution woven into the fabric of everyday life. The company's influence extended far beyond the aisles of its stores, it played a pivotal role in shaping American culture and society. A&P's initiative, such as the creation of the magazine Woman's Day, not only catered to the needs of consumers, but also reflected its commitment to innovation and progress. Moreover, A&P's impact reached the literary world, inspiring renowned authors like John Updike to craft stories that immortalize the essence of the brand. In the 1960s, AMP's presence was so ubiquitous that its motto, who cares, we care, became ingrained in the collective consciousness. It wasn't just a slogan, it embodied the company's dedication to customer satisfaction and community engagement. AMP wasn't just in the business of selling groceries, it was in the business of caring for its customers and fostering a sense of belonging. Yet, despite its storied past and enduring legacy, A&P's eventual demise serves as a sobering reminder of the ever-changing nature of commerce. As consumer preferences evolved and new competitors emerged, the once mighty A&P struggled to adapt, ultimately succumbing to the relentless tide of change. The loss of A&P leaves a void in the retail landscape but its memory lives on in the hearts and minds of those who fondly recall the days of shopping at their local A&P store. It serves as a testament to the enduring power of nostalgia and the indelible impact of institutions that shape our collective experiences. 
Though the physical stores may be gone, the spirit of A and P lives on, reminding us of the profound influence that businesses can have on our lives and communities. Number two, Alpha Beta. The name Alpha Beta resonates with nostalgia for many, spanning its existence from the 1910s to 1995. Over the course of its life, the company underwent various transformations, being absorbed by giants like American Stores, Skaggs, Ralph's, Lucky, among others. Despite these changes, one enduring symbol of Alpha Beta remains etched in our memories, Alfie, the beloved little cowboy mascot. Originating in California, Alpha Beta gradually expanded its reach, eventually becoming a familiar presence in communities across the country. For decades, shoppers relied on Alpha Beta for their grocery needs, forming a bond with the brand and its offerings. Reflecting on Alpha Beta's journey evokes a sense of continuity and change. The company's evolution mirrored the shifting landscape of the grocery industry, marked by mergers, acquisitions, and changing consumer preferences. Yet, amidst the flux, Alfie stood as a steadfast emblem, embodying the spirit of the brand and resonating with shoppers of all ages. As we reminisce about Alpha Beta, we recall not just a supermarket chain, but a part of our collective experience. The memories of shopping trips with family, encountering familiar faces in the aisles, and the excitement of discovering new products are all intertwined with the legacy of Alpha Beta. While the physical stores may have faded into the past, the imprint of Alpha Beta endures in the hearts and minds of those who grew up with it. It serves as a reminder of an era gone by, a testament to the ever-changing nature of commerce and a symbol of the cherished memories we hold dear. Number three, Big Bear. Big Bear held a special place in the hearts of Ohioans for over 75 years. Its legacy was deeply ingrained in the state's culture, becoming more than just a grocery store, but an institution. Situated adjacent to Ohio State University, the first Big Bear store symbolized familiarity and community for locals. It was a place where you could expect to find not only groceries, but also a piece of Ohio's identity, like Buckeyes proudly displayed for sale. The presence of Big Bear extended beyond Ohio, reaching as far as Southern California. However, it's worth noting that these stores in California operated somewhat independently, not entirely under the same corporate umbrella as their Ohio counterparts. Despite this geographical separation, Big Bear's essence remained consistent, a provider of quality goods with a touch of local charm. Reflecting on Big Bear's history evokes nostalgia for a bygone era when grocery shopping wasn't just about convenience, but about the experience. Stepping into a Big Bear store meant more than just crossing items off a shopping list. It was a journey filled with familiar faces, memories, and perhaps a sense of belonging. As the years passed, Big Bear became woven into the fabric of Ohio's communities, evolving alongside the changing times. Its enduring presence served as a reminder of stability in an ever-changing world. Even as new supermarkets emerged and shopping habits evolved, Big Bear retained its loyal customer base, a testament to its lasting impact. However, like all good things, Big Bear's reign eventually came to an end. Economic shifts, corporate restructuring, or changing consumer preferences, the reasons may vary, but the outcome remains the same. The closure of Big Bear marked the end of an era, leaving behind a void in Ohio's retail landscape and in the hearts of those who cherished its memories. Yet, amidst the bittersweet farewell, the legacy of Big Bear lives on in the collective memory of Ohioans. It serves as a reminder of simpler times, a symbol of community spirit, and a testament to the enduring power of nostalgia. Though the physical stores may be gone, the spirit of Big Bear continues to resonate, keeping its memory alive in the annals of Ohio's history. Number four, Dominic's. In the Chicago area, Dominic's was once a dominant presence in the grocery retail landscape. The chain was known for its widespread presence, 
with stores seemingly on every corner, some of which are now occupied by Whole Foods. Additionally, Dominic's had spun off its Omni Superstores, which also eventually closed down. The decline of Dominic's raises questions about the factors that led to its demise. Competition from other grocery chains, changing consumer preferences, and internal challenges within the company likely played a role. Although Dominic's is no longer around, its legacy remains ingrained in the memories of many Chicagoans. The chain was more than just a place to buy groceries. It was a part of the community fabric. Despite its closure, the retail landscape continues to evolve with the emergence of new players like Whole Foods. Reflecting on Dominic's serves as a reminder of the dynamic nature of commerce and community. While the chain may be gone, its impact is still felt, prompting nostalgia and discussions about the changing retail environment. Number five, Food Fair. Food Fair, a prominent supermarket chain, was established in Pennsylvania during the 1920s. It experienced significant growth, expanding its operations to encompass more than 500 stores at its peak. In a strategic move during the 1950s, Food Fair acquired the Setzer Supermarkets chain, headquartered in Jacksonville, Florida. This acquisition bolstered Food Fair's market presence and geographical reach. However, in the subsequent decade, Food Fair underwent a rebranding process, leading to a change in its name. The specifics of this transformation are not provided in the given text. This rebranding marked a notable shift in the company's trajectory and corporate identity. Food Fair's journey reflects the competitive nature of the retail industry, characterized by strategic acquisitions and evolving market dynamics. While its origins lie in Pennsylvania, its expansion and influence extended across state boundaries, shaping the landscape of American retail. Number six, Grand Union. Grand Union holds a significant place in the memories of individuals residing in the New York area and New England. The company's distinctive red dot logo was a recognizable symbol in the supermarket landscape, representing a range of offerings catering to diverse consumer needs. From its upscale Grand Union Fresh Market to its more budget-friendly hot dot stores, Grand Union served as a familiar destination for grocery shopping. In recent years, the evolution of the retail environment led to a transformation of the Grand Union brand. The decision was made to convert the remaining Grand Union stores into tops friendly markets, marking the conclusion of the Grand Union era. This transition reflects broader shifts in consumer preferences and competitive dynamics within the grocery industry. While the transition to tops friendly markets signifies the end of an era for Grand Union, it also represents a strategic decision aimed at adapting to changing market conditions. As such, it is viewed within the context of ongoing business developments rather than as a singular event. Although the closure of the last Grand Union stores may evoke nostalgia among former patrons, it is important to recognize that businesses evolve in response to market forces. The memories and experiences associated with Grand Union remain a part of the collective history of the communities it served underscoring the enduring impact of retail establishments on local culture and commerce. Number seven, Jitney Jungle. For those familiar with the vibrant culture of the American South, the name Jitney Jungle holds a special place in their hearts. Alongside iconic supermarket names like Piggly Wiggly, the mere mention of Jitney Jungle evokes a sense of nostalgia and charm. Originating in Mississippi, Jitney Jungle embarked on a journey that extended its reach across the Southeast. The name itself, with Jitney serving as slang for a nickel, added an element of whimsy and local flavor to the supermarket chain. It wasn't just a place to shop for groceries, it was a part of the Southern vernacular, synonymous with community and tradition. Over the years, Jitney Jungle became woven into the fabric of Southern life, serving as a gathering place where neighbors caught up on the latest news while perusing the aisles for their favorite products. Its distinctive branding and commitment to customer service 
endeared it to generations of shoppers. However, like many regional chains, Jitney Jungle faced changes in the retail landscape. In 2000, the supermarket chain underwent a significant transformation when it was acquired by Winn-Dixie, a move that also absorbed El Champ's stores into the fold. The rebranding efforts saw the familiar Jitney Jungle signage replaced by the Winn-Dixie name, marking the end of an era for loyal patrons. While the transition to Winn-Dixie represented a strategic decision aimed at consolidating operations and streamlining branding, it also signaled a shift in the Southern supermarket scene. For many, the rebranding evoked a sense of loss as they bid farewell to a beloved institution that had been a fixture in their lives for years. Despite the changes, the memories of Jitney Jungle endure, serving as a testament to its lasting impact on Southern culture and commerce. Its legacy lives on in the stories shared by those who fondly remember the days spent shopping in its aisles and the sense of community it fostered.